these new renderings of the Kalamazoo Event Center and Athletics Performance Center. The Kalamazoo County Board of Commissioners voted unanimously to approve closing documents linked to a purchase agreement with Catalyst Development Company in July of 23. The 320,000 square foot event center would be built between Park Street and West Edge Avenue on Kalamazoo Avenue. This development project estimated to cost $300 million, but once finished, the building would host major sporting events, concerts, and more, adding roughly $54 million to the local economy. That was some sharp cool, render. Huh? Yeah, it looks cool, the building district. Yeah. Look at that. I love that view. Hey, young adults aging out of the foster care system have a new safety net. D.A. Blodgett St. John's introducing a groundbreaking independent Living Plus program tailored for those who have not yet been adopted. Recognizing the vulnerability of these young adults without familial support, the program offers access to coaching, therapy, medical support, and campus amenities. Now, residents aged 16 to 19 receive specialized assistance. The initiative aims to combat the risks these youths face, such as homelessness and incarceration, breaking that foster care to prison pipeline, by providing a supportive community and resources empowering them to thrive as they trans transition into adulthood. I'll get out the calendar, save the date. The 22nd annual Feast for Kids is back to benefit Kids Food Basket. This event is April 23rd at 6 p.m. at Noto's on 28th Street. The evening will feature a four-course meal prepared by the American Culinary Federation of Greater Grand Rapids, showcasing some of the finest cuisine the city has to offer. There will also be a silent auction. All proceeds from this event benefit Kids Food Basket's work to nourish kids to reach their full potential. Grab your tickets now at kidsfoodbasket.org. They've got quite the wine selection, by the way, at that restaurant. So Ooh. if you're a wine lover, have you ever wanted to open a restaurant, a food truck, or maybe a catering company, maybe some other type of food business? Well, the downtown market is hosting a two-part culinary conversation mm -hmm. series where folks like uh, the Kent County health department inspectors and other representatives are going to demystify the licensing and all the other topics for ready-to-eat food businesses. Now, these sessions encourage peer-to-peer -peer collaboration and networking for emerging members of the West Michigan food industry. Sessions are held from 5 to 7 on February 6th and 28th, and they are free to attend, but they do ask you RSVP at meetup.com. A cool opportunity. Well, you, this is also a very cool opportunity. You ever want to own a piece of the Mighty Mac? Oh, part of the bridge? The Mackinac Bridge Authority sometimes sells old sections of the bridge after they've been replaced. The next round of sales here now, and the state is already warning that these pieces are going to go quick. They're like those pieces of the metal road service, that yep. grating, that mm -hmm. when you drive on it, it makes your tires hum as you pass <laughs> over the streets. Um, the catch is, though, you got to buy the piece in person. No online sales. You can't reserve the pieces. The sale is limited to whatever stock they have in the office there. And the metal could be rusty. It could have lead paint. You do have to sign a waiver to buy it. But if you're interested, just get in the car, head up to the Mackinac Bridge Authority office. That's next to the toll booths on the north side of the bridge. Mm -hmm. You have to cross or, over or there. Or maybe a truck, because you're gonna. Those things are heavy. They are. They're really heavy. Um, you know. But if you're, they're twenty dollars. That's it. Twenty bucks, right? You could take home a souvenir that few of the millions who've driven over the bridge possess. I said, I've seen met an artist who does photography, drone photography, and has a picture of the bridge on like the piece of the grate. It's pretty cool. Oh, that is yeah, cool. There's a lot of different ways. I guess there's, Andrea said that there's a lot of different ways that you can use it. People have posted, you know, like what how, they did with their section of the bridge. I want to go, I want to see that. We got to get a link to that up. I'm curious yeah. to see what they actually do with a piece of the mighty map. I mean, the opportunities are endless. <laughs>